It's a wonderful, low-tech, human-powered machine, which is incredibly social as well. I used to volunteer at um, a wildlife trust, which they did lots of raking up cut grass, but they never did the scything part. So I've always been kind of interested in the in the scything side of things. Um, also, it's got this sort of mysterious quality to it about it. Oh, you're doing scything. So partially signing up was quite good for then being able to say people I'm going on a scything course and everyone being like, oh, wow. So to me, the benefits of volunteering are just having a nice day out that's somewhere a bit different, I guess. It's, it's very different from sitting in an office or working from home and it gives you a chance to do something different that you might not have um, been able to do by yourself um, and lots, you learn lots of new things as well like I never would have learned about sizing if I hadn't come on this course so uh, yeah it's, uh, it's fun, it's social, yeah it's, it's really good. The benefit of having volunteers out, I guess, uh, particularly in this context, is um, it allows us a more people power. So it actually means we can get more people out volunteering, more people engaged in sort of practical conservation. Um, big part of the sort of Sheffield Lakeland Landscape Partnership that obviously this is falling under is sort of engaging more volunteers, increasing sort of volunteer capacity uh, for the trust and other organisations that we uh, we work with. Um, and I think sort of it has a lot of personal value for them. So uh, people, I think at the moment, have a sort of desire to do something sort of practically for, for nature and for wildlife um, and want to kind of put a tangible difference back into the sort of area they live.